In this video, we will simulate turbulent pipe flow. We will create the geometry in ANSYS space claim. We will mesh the geometry in fluent meshing mode. We will find out pressure loss and wall Y+. We will find out drag coefficient, skin friction and Darcy friction factor. And then find out the entrance region length and velocity profile. Consider a pipe having length of 3000 mm and pipe diameter of 100 mm. The velocity at the inlet is 0.1 meter per second and we are using water. The viscosity and density of the water is given in the problem. We can find out the Reynolds number using this data and the Reynolds number is 9952 which shows that the flow is turbulent in a pipe. In the next step, open ANSYS workbench. I am using ANSYS R2022. Drag this fluid flow fluent with fluent meshing into project schematic. Double click on the geometry. It will open ANSYS space claim. Click on this select new sketch plane to select the plane now select yz plane then click on this plane view button to look at the yz plane then click on the circle button create a circle having diameter of 100 mm then click on this button and sketch editing. The pull command is automatically selected. We go to the home view and then we select this surface that we want to pull and then click on this arrow to drag it and enter a value of 3000. Mm. It will create the pipe geometry having length of 3000 mm and diameter is 100 mm. Now zoom in to select this face and go to groups and click on create name selection. Label this surface as outlet. Then select this surface and create name selection as pipe wall. Now select this face and label it as inlet. Now close ANSYS space claim. In the next step, Double click on mesh, select double precision, click on start, it will open ANSYS in the meshing mode, click on import geometry and import the geometry. The next task is add local sizing, keep the default setting and click on update. The next task is to generate the surface mesh. Create the surface mesh by keeping the default settings. The next task is to describe geometry. Our geometry domain consists of only fluid regions with no whites. Select this second option and describe geometry. The next task is to update boundaries and we see that the boundaries are correctly assigned. Click on update geometries. The next task is update regions. Click on update regions. The next task is to add boundary layers. Add number of layers equal to 9. Then add click on add boundary layers. Keep the default settings and generate the volume mesh. Zoom in to view the mesh at pipe wall. You can see that 
the mesh is very fine at the boundaries click on switch to solution button then click on yes to switch to solution mode it will open ansys fluent in solution mode click on physics button click on viscous by default the model selected for the turbulence is k omega model turbulence model we will left the default settings unchanged and then click ok as our flow was turbulent and then click on materials button go to fluent database at the bottom of this list click on water liquid click on copy and close click on cell zones and click on this solid click edit change the material from here to water liquid then click on boundaries select inlet click edit the inlet velocity was 0.1 click apply go to solution tab click on definitions new and then click on force report then drag force here from here we can find out the drag coefficient check this box print to console and then select pipe wall at which we want to calculate the drag coefficient click ok go to reference values tab double click on it the area of pipe wall is equal to 0.942 which is calculated by pi d l the rest of the values can be updated by using this option compute form inlet you can see now the density and the inlet velocity has been updated according to our fluid that we are using is water now initialize the solution and then enter 200 number of iterations and then click on calculate after 91 iterations the solution is converged and the drag coefficient is calculated to be around 0 0.007 which can be also confirmed from here it is as equal to 0 0.00799 so this drag coefficient will be used to calculate the pressure drop along the pipe with the help of this drag coefficient computed from NC solution we can find out the Darcy friction factor according to this relationship a drag coefficient is equal to skin friction coefficient and Darcy friction factor according to this relation where skin friction coefficient is ratio of wall shear stress and dynamic pressure the Darcy friction factor is calculated according to the drag coefficient is equal to 0 0.03196 by using this value of Darcy friction factor we can calculate the pressure drop along a pipe subjected to turbulent flow we will compare this value with the ANSYS solution for validation of our ANSYS simulation in the next step double click on results it will open ansys post processing this is ansys cfd post check this box of pipe wall to see the pipe wall then click on location plane rename this plane as my plane 
leave the rest of the setting as it is and click apply it will create a plane to see the plane here you can see the plane is in the middle of the pipe now click on this contour button rename it as pressure contour and select the location as my plane the variable that we want to see is the pressure increase the number of contours to 110 and click apply we can see that the maximum pressure is at the inlet which is equal to 5.65 pascals which is very close to our hand calculation the Darcy friction factor can also be found by this Moody's chart as our Reynolds number value was double nine five two that means 10 raised to power 4 and for smooth pipes the value of Darcy friction factor is around 0 0.03 which closely match with our hand calculations next we will find wall y plus value to verify that our meshing was correct at the pipe wall for that we will create a line at the pipe wall go to location click on line rename it as my wall enter x is equal to 0 then y is 0 0.05 and point 0.2 x is equal to 3 and y is point 0.05 increase number of samples to 100 and click apply a line will be created at the pipe wall as you can see in the figure then click on this button chart name it as wall y plus in the data series tab click on location and select my wall as a location then go to x axis tab and on the x axis we will specify that x is the length of pipe and on the y axis we will select the variable wall y plus and click apply as you can see the value of wall y plus is less than 5 along the length of pipe as our value of y plus is less than 5 along the length of pipe we can confirm that our mesh was correct at the wall this y plus value is simply the non-dimensional wall adjacent grid height which is a function of fluid properties and the skin friction coefficient mathematically y plus is defined by this expression where u star is the fictitious velocity which is the ratio of wall shear stress and density of the fluid next we will find out the entrance region length in the entrance region length flow is developing as you can see here the velocity profile is developing in the entrance region length and in the fully developed region the velocity profile is not changing with respect to time and location to find out the entrance region length we have this equation where lh is equal to 10 times of pipe diameter so we have another formula to find out the entrance region length and we will now see which formula is most accurate in our ANSYS solution. Go to contours tab, rename it as velocity contour. In the location tab, click on my plane and we select the variable as velocity enter number of contours equal to 110 and then click apply to have a better view go to this view tab 
and check this box apply scale enter a value of 10 here and click apply as you can see in the diagram that boundary layer is developing and at this point it it does not change its thickness to verify the entrance region length we will draw a line go to location select line we will define the line by two points and these are the x and y coordinates of this line as we can see here beyond this line the thickness of the boundary layer does not change it can be verified from the figure that this second equation gives us a better idea of the entrance region length in this lecture we have simulated the turbulent pipe flow and compared the simulation results with our hand calculations. Thank you for watching.